breaking now. A new exclusive poll by Emerson College, The Hill, and DC News Now just released regarding the Maryland Senate race, and it shows the ballot for the open Senate seat is shaping up to be very competitive, and that is according to that exclusive poll on the U.S. Senate race in Maryland. That poll done, like I said, in conjunction with Emerson College and The Hill. And the race is heating up more after former Governor Larry Hogan jumped in the race last week and is so here's how it breaks down. Hogan is either significantly in the lead and what's quite interesting or tied with other candidates in one matchup. So let's show you the numbers right here. This is Larry Hogan. Now Hogan's support is at 43% of voters in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate ahead of the May 14th election. That's what our poll shows. No other GOP candidate has that double digit. So how does Hogan compare to the Democratic candidates in the race? Let's take a look at how those look like right now. This is the breakdown of that. But Hogan is in a dead heat, 42% each, with voters supporting him and Democratic candidate uh, David Trone, 16% <coughs> on Decided. That poll also shows Maryland's former two-term governor leading Angela also Brooks. Here's what that number looks like. Hogan at 44%, also Brooks at 37, 37%. We have 19% undecided with this race. And control of the Senate is at play, and one political analyst says even though there is still time to campaign and a Democratic nominee hasn't been picked, the poll numbers show Larry Hogan will be competitive. If Hogan is being this competitive, essentially uh, matching one of the Democrats and leading the other Democrat, uh, the uh, Democrats nationally have a big problem. They know they have a problem, but it may be bigger than they thought. And further proving Hogan's competitiveness, Hogan also favored with independence, according to that DC News Now poll done in conjunction with Emerson College and The Hill. So here's a quick look at those numbers. In a matchup between Hogan and also Brooks, 43% of independents support Larry Hogan and 18% support also Brooks. Independents, they break for Hogan, 48% and 25% for Trone in that matchup. Now, now you have to remember and maybe factor in that when Hogan left office, Office as a two-term Republican governor in a blue state, his approval rating was at 77 percent. Now, our DC News Now poll also shows how voters in Maryland are leaning when it comes to that presidential race. I'll break down break that down for you coming up at seven o'clock.